Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here at the world famous Morjim Beach in North Goa. I'm going to be showing you guys the beautiful beach. We are going to be checking out the streets. We are going to check out the shacks. I'm going to go around. I'm going to show you guys the prices at the beach of the food and everything. And let's go and check out this beautiful place here in North Goa. Okay guys, so we are here on the streets of Morjim and I'm going to be taking you guys all the way down to the beach. Uh, right now it's afternoon time so most of the shops are well they're all open but uh, there's not a lot of people here at the moment but just to show you guys the streets and what what's happening here and what's available here right now so this is uh, the road which is going towards the Morjim 2 beach so there is the first one which is the Morjim turtle beach but we are going to go to another one so this is Aloha here uh, I've showed you guys many places here before, but let me just show you some new places here. So this is the Anne guest house. So that's the numbers there you can pause it. So they have like a big guest house here. So if you want to find like accommodation for... Yo, hey, what's up? So, yeah. So, yeah, people recognize me everywhere here. So this is a clothing shop here. There's a nice bistro here, which is this small little cafe and they have like chips and things like that here uh, they also have like a see this is like a health cafe which is very cute looking let me just zoom in so you guys have an idea of what it looks like close up so that's a nice cafe here uh, there's like many guest houses and things here which you can go to uh, so there's like see houses for rent and things like that here hey what's up so you know, I'm always nice to everybody. I say hello to everybody everywhere. That's the best thing you should be able to do in life. So this is JD's. If you ever come to Morjim and you want to try some Goan stuff and basically for if you are on a budget and you want to eat something like a snack, you can come to JD's here. They have like Goan uh, snacks also here. Uh, wait, what an awkward position to put the video. Okay, yeah, so they have like this Goan cutlet bread and things like that. They are available in the evenings. So yeah, let me just show you. So these are like the bralettes and outfits that are available on the beach road. Uh, this is a popular part of Morjim. So many people come to this area here because they have a lot of the kind of fancy restaurants here. And I'm actually super hungry. So I hope I can get some food on the beach. I'm going to probably go to some shack. So if you see here, there's a lot of Russians that are here. So there's beach walk also here, which is a nice uh, hotel here. And it's very close to the beach. So most of the tourists are uh, Russian tourists here and as I can see the beach seems to have a lot of crowd right now but I'm going to go on the street and show you guys a few of the restaurants and things that are here first that was the basically the beach entrance where we were at so this is Cafe Xavier's here this is a nice place here so if you see here going down towards the road so yeah there's Balu's, the white house that side many things so we are against the light there so i can't it's not really worth showing you guys there so let's just go to the beach and check out the beach and see what's happening on the beach the shacks and uh the food and everything so you know there's so many people coming in right now so i'm just going to go here and park my bike yeah so okay let's just park here Oh, I don't think there's parking anywhere here. Let's go further down and see if we can find some parking here. So this is the main beach road and we have some people here. Unfortunately, uh, somebody else parked there. So anyway, we can go all the way down to the beach and park there as well. So I'm going to go down further down and park it right on the beach. Sorry guys, you have to feel like you're riding along with me and be upset about waiting as well <laughs> yeah so look at the amount of crowd oh my gosh i'm riding in the sand it's scary but yeah it's so cool we are literally on the beach i'm gonna park here and yo what's up how are you so see they said moses saldana so <laughs> yeah so guys we're just going to ride around let me just show you like all the places on the beach this is so cool i'm actually riding my bike on the beach and showing you guys the beach so anyway we are going to park here and we are going to go to all the different shacks 
and see all the this thing the last time i was here i went to the ushanka shack which is over there which is very nice relaxed chilled out vibe ah it's so beautiful so these are the uh, restaurants that are here so we'll go around and see what's happening here so if we go facing towards the light uh we are going to be pretty dark so let's just go here this side first and show you some scenes from here so these are this is like pizza house those are our viewers there i'll probably go and say hi to them in a while so yeah this is the balu's place which i was telling you guys about when i was entering balu's is super nice and if you see the shacks here uh like the vibe is so cool so these are all the different uh you know places that are available <laughs> yeah so let me just show you the vibe here so you can click some amazing photos at any of these restaurants this aloha this one is aloha and see this you can click like some amazing photos here with this here it has some amazing beach vibes so you can go all the way to there uh, we'll go to the beach and then i'll show you from the beach side but i don't want to do it against the light so we'll walk backwards over here so as we are walking towards the this thing we'll get to see like the crowds and who's here at the moment so i have to take it against the light unfortunately so we will switch the camera to, towards this side so we can see what is happening here otherwise we are just going to see some dark patch here guys so afternoons always nice here most of the people are international tourists i would say uh, 80 90% of the crowd is russian tourists so we will go on the beach check out the scenes from here we'll walk all the way down from let's see if we can see yeah so we will go all the way down towards that side of the beach and see the crowd and what's happening here i also want to eat so we have to find some nice places to eat here so these are all the uh be beach beds kind of thing here there's also a nice re resort there which is montego bay and yeah so right there in the distance is the main morjem beach that has a lot of crowd as well uh, it seems completely packed there but that is mostly domestic tourists i uh, means indian tourists that are on that side of the beach and here of course we have indian as well as international tourists here this is a beautiful beach here uh, let's just go up to the water uh, just to show you guys this beach is actually pretty big so there's a lot of uh, shacks all around here and there's so many so many people at the moment and yeah let's just go to the water it's been a while since going to the water and feel the nice cool breeze here and chilled out vibes here so just to show you the crowds that are here right now and who's here let's go into the water so i'm going to leave my slippers on the beach and then we are going to go so my slippers are there and yeah let's go into the water wow what a vibe relaxed so cool guys so it's so nice the water is so cold and chilled out and relaxed i feel amazing uh you know uh, i'm a beach boy i've been to all the mountains and everything finally i always want to come back to the beach so yeah this is the uh, what is this morjem beach so what we are going to do is let's okay i'm against the light again sorry guys so i'm i'm going to go and get some food let's go and check out the food and let me show you the food who is here at the shacks let's go and check out the whole experience so let's go okay guys so we made it back to the beach here and i'm going to look for a place to eat now so let's just go randomly and find one of these beach beds here and you know just chill out have a good time and have some lunch but oh so this one seems free so i'm going to sit sit here and see the scenes that happen here so we are here in the late afternoon now so let's order some food and show you guys what we get and hopefully we get some good food i'm so hungry let's get some food guys 
Okay guys, so this is the menu prices here. Half of the menu is written in Russian because it's mostly Russians as I mentioned here. So just to show you guys the menu, I hope you can see it. But what you can do is just pause the video and you can probably zoom into the video so you get an idea of the prices here. So they are pretty expensive. Morjim is like a little upmarket place and uh, most of the things are pretty high. But uh, if you've seen my Ashwam video, this is a little cheaper. This is uh, I've never eaten in this restaurant before, so it's called Taste of Goa. But yeah, so I've never eaten here before, so hopefully the food is good. I ordered a fish and chips because I was so hungry, and yeah, I, I'm not having any alcohol because I don't want to drink and drive. But just to show you guys, so they have pretty much a lot of things, and let me just show you the alcohol menu now. So if you see the alcohol menu here, so the mojitos. Uh, mojito is 400 so cocktails are like 400 500 uh, kingfisher beer is 100 rupees which is pretty standard which is very good actually very this is quite cheap uh, ultra is 140 Budweiser Corona is like 200 which is pretty good for beachside venue and yeah so there he brought my fresh lime soda here so yeah so I just got fresh lime soda as I mentioned I'm not having any alcohol so Oh, I'm dropping it all over me. Yeah, but I'm having a good time at the beach. It's very beautiful today. There's a lot of crowd and the vibe is pretty nice. It's it's very relaxed. I'm listening to music. I'm having a great time. You know, I like to vibe alone sometimes. I'll make a lot of friends later on. But, sorry. Mm. Oh, it's super chill. The weather is incredible. The crowd around here is incredible everybody is like super nice here even the beach shack guys are friendly so anyway i'm waiting for my food now i'm going to show you guys once i get the food but just to show you around i'm sitting here relaxed as hell uh there's actually a lot of things happening like there's a guy doing like the paraglide i don't know what it's called windsurfing so yeah he's doing windsurfing so this is like a very popular beach for windsurfing so like lots of international tourists all around here having a great time so anyway let's get the food and let me show you once the food comes okay guys so i got myself a big kingfish steak here uh i thought the size is going to be small but this is actually a huge piece of kingfish which is very surprising that they'll give you such a big piece of kingfish so i'm going to turn it around let's try the french fries first oh that's pretty good so they have a big piece of fish so just to show you guys look at the size of the fish guys so it's literally the size of my hand and that's like the size of the fish i don't know if you can see properly uh there's a lot of glare here from the sun so i can't see so that is the big slice of kingfish. I'm going to put it in my mouth. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That is completely fresh. Mm. Very good. So it was 450. I was a little skeptical about if it's going to be worth it. But I don't even know this restaurant. I've never been here before to this restaurant. But... Mm. That masala is very good. It's not spicy at all. Not, uh, I don't know, but it's very tasty. So I would definitely recommend it. Just again, look at the size. Look at that. So, yeah, one full kingfish slice for me. A big one. Some french fries and salad. And I'm going to ask him to get some sauce. And of course, we got our lemon soda here, guys. So cheers. And yeah, I'm going to finish this incredible food. Then we'll go back and check out a little bit more of the beach. Okay guys, so this is the restaurant that I ate at, which was the Taste of Goa. The food was really good. And yeah, I would recommend them. So yeah, the vibe is pretty nice now. And there's a lot of people coming in. There's a lot of people, in fact, just non-stop coming into the beach right now. Uh, it's a great vibe. Lots of uh, international people here and the vibe is just amazing here so if you ever come to Mordrim you'll definitely enjoy this place so this is like the more high-end place uh, these ones on the left here are a little cheaper and better options if you're in a budget and you want to have like you know a nice budget option then definitely come here 
Okay guys, so we just finished lunch and I'm going to go back to the restaurant, finish paying off my bills and then we are heading out. But yeah, what a beautiful vibe. We had a great time here and yeah, so I'm just going to finish getting my payment done. And yeah, this is such a beautiful beach. We had a great, I had a great time. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. And I'll be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in Goa.